Coach Drew. I know there's been hurt in your relationships, and I know there's going to be hurt again in your relationships, because nobody's perfect. But if you want to stop having the same hurts over and over and over again, by the end of this video, you have three ways to do just that. For practical tips and tools for your relationships, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to click that bell so you get notified when I post a new video every Thursday. There's been a lot of talk about narcissists and narcissism and it makes everybody out to be a narcissist. When in reality, there are many reasons why people end up doing things that hurt the other person. Yes, sometimes their actions are self-centered and selfish, but that's not the only reason. One of the reasons is we don't know ourselves very well. We don't look at our own stuff. Believe it or not, the third step in the art of the genuine apology is committing to a plan of action. Now, a lot of people don't understand why they did what they did. They didn't really connect it to their family history, unhealed hurts. That stuff doesn't just go away. In fact, it informs how you relate to other people. I mean, that stuff gets so deep into us. If we're not really thinking about it, we don't realize how our hurts and our histories inform the way that we think the way that we relate, the way that we see ourselves and see the world, it is there. You can grow up and leave home, but you can't leave your history. It just doesn't work that way. So the first thing you get to do, if you want to stop repeated cycles of hurt, understand yourself, understand your beliefs, and understand how they are connected to you doing what you did. A lot of people are experiencing these kinds of changes because they're reading and working through the art of a genuine apology. Of all the steps of the art of a genuine apology, the third step is based purely on logic. Yet it's overlooked by almost everyone. It's important to create a plan, to take the time to understand yourself, your stuff, and figure out this leads me to this point, and then I get to this point, and then you can be clear and concrete about what you're going to do differently. One of the most important parts of a good plan is ensuring that the other person bears no responsibility for your plan of action. Alternatively, if someone is trying to make you responsible in their plan of action, I would encourage you strongly, resist. It's important that we take responsibility and then we walk that through. It leads to a whole mess of stuff. The other person will feel resentful, they'll feel they'll be over-functioning, right? They'll be doing your job for you. They get blamed because they didn't remind you. I, in the book, I share about my own experience with that. And I've learned this through trial and error. I would ask my wife to remind me about stuff that I would forget, things that were important to her not a good look and it doesn't work you get to be proactive once you've mapped out this sequence of events you can figure out exactly what it is that you need to do differently which leads to the next step be very specific in your plan of action the more specific you are the more successful you are likely to be as i got married i transitioned out of single life into married life and a lot of people didn't tell me about the things that I would experience. I'm going to come to that in one of the future videos. But one of the things that I had to let go of, and I got to let go of, was that spontaneity with my plans. Planning for two is very different than planning for one. More importantly, even as I thought I was doing a good job of saying, you know what, um, yeah, I'd love to be a part of this. Let me check it out with Aideen and then I'll get back to you. Now, a lot of the ladies who are watching this video, they understand what I just did. They can see that I just unintentionally set her up or threw her under the bus. Because if she says no, she doesn't want to go, now it's going to look like she doesn't like them and it's going to cause drama and all this stuff. I learned the hard way. So my plan now got to be very specific down to the very words that I would say. I would say, you know what? Let me get back to you. Uh, I gotta check the family calendar. I gotta make sure there's nothing else going on. You know, I didn't mention her at all. I took it all on myself. It was my responsibility. I needed to check it out. Very specific. So now you've taken the time to look at your stuff. And sometimes that could take weeks. 
But you've looked at your stuff and you've taken responsibility. You've gone the extra mile and you've been empathetic. You understand how the other person feels. And now you've even created a, a foolproof plan. Credibility is starting to be rebuilt. There is one more step. And that step is what's going to take us on into reconciliation. This fourth step is gold. You don't want to miss it. It's coming up in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you got something that will help you and help your relationships. If you like this video, let me know. Like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit the bell so you're notified when I post a new video every Thursday. Until next time, continue to learn, heal, and grow.